feels like we're there, so close. The polyps are closing up. Oh, what are those fan shapes on the side here? These these are probably sponges, but they are really strange. They might be demo sponges. They're definitely they look weird for a glass sponge, so I'm I'm guessing demo sponge on this. Oh wow. Oh well, that's wild. It looks almost like a very coral like, isn't it? Yeah. Is it a are you thinking about sampling it or just I'm going to I'm going to look through the guide real quick. I okay. I think I might want to sample this. Okay. The ship's almost off to moving and we're in a pretty solid position, I think. Okay, great. Meg, what's that thing attached to it? Uh that lump? Yeah. I'm not sure. It might be an isopod. I can't I can't see it very well, but it looks very isopod-like or pillbug-like. Um, so let's see. Do you want to sample the closer one so I don't crush it coming in? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Does the close? Does that yeah. closer one look the Just same? Uh, or are they different? Medicine. So like Roger. it could be a Stellodorix. Yeah. Is there that isopod on that one too? Oh yep. my goodness, look at that guy. That one looks a little different though, doesn't it? It does look a little different. It has the same sort of branching pattern though. So I, I'm so I know that isopod pretty on sure. It. So we're sampling this? Yeah, let's sample it. Take him wide, please. And if we get that isopod as a bonus, that'd be great. Oops. Isopod. Um, Stellodorix. Oops, sorry. I'm not quite stable. No, you gotta land first. Yeah. I'll give you your bubble, get back. bubble Yeah, thank you. Just like, this one's really big and very... Okay, I think ranchy. I'm Oh, no. Not. Yeah, yeah you're bouncing on the arm. Unfortunately. Whoops. Okay. It's okay. So can I grab bubble again? Yep. Or? Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna. Oops. Where's this gonna go? Which box? It's like a slabby rock. It's not yeah. working. Uh, we're gonna do forward box A. Forward box alpha. Forward box lambda. Um, lambda, yeah. Lambda and omega. And I can Maybe do either one of these two? Is that correct? Okay. Yeah, I yeah, I think they're the same thing. Okay, Roger. You gonna take the whole thing of this one? Yes. Okay. Oh, no isopod. Uh, I was pretty sure it would swim away anyway. Okay, can you camera rack back, please? Yeah. They're smarter than that. I think it's pretty interesting okay, that each left, one of those had, a, the had the same the ice upon it. Oh, sorry. Yeah, near, yeah, nearly the same like spot, like upper mm -hmm. left quadrant. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. And you can open the box now. Oh, okay. there goes the mice. Just an isopod thing. Good there. See the lambda. Uh, alpha. Yeah, lambda. lambda. Oh. Lambda. lambda. We're getting rid of the same letters in two spots on the vehicle. Uh. A change. Yeah. It was actually like this before, and then someone removed Changed it. Changed it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that one's Lambda. What's the other one? Omega. Okay, just making a note. Yeah, that's very floaty. Yeah. You know what? I got to lock this jaw before I open it. There we go. Hmm. No loose punching. Hello. Hello. 
Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Get in there. Eh, eh, eh. All right, close that. Nice. I can't stow that arm, so I'm going to leave it there okay. for them. I will. Do you want me to just... Yeah, we'll just oh, yeah. call it right here. Is that right? Uh, Sorry, back row, can I get a sample number? That was 118. 118. Good morning, back row and forward rows and every row in this van. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, that's loud. Check, check. Okay. Are we stopped here? Yeah, Adam, what's the, uh, so we, we done at the sample spot here? We wanna? I don't know, I see that, some of that old sponge. What's our sample bin situation? I think we've been a bit greedy on the first half of this dive. Uh, yeah, we were. Uh, we got two Niskins open. Uh, so let's shove uh, the sponge and then Niskin. So we'll have to save those. <laughs> we got two small boxes open. And probably could fit some stuff in the, the larger ones, but the sizes aren't noted. So we'll I don't know. I just saw them put a rock in there, and I, I think it's packed. If packed there's full. a few in the forward starboard big box well we can collect a lot of push cores um storms. yeah let's let's see renny can you zoom out on high pack so you can see how far we are there is no renny but i'd be happy to oh my gosh <laughs> a 
what? I guess it's our lucky day. <laughs> Renny, your voice changed. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, we used to have the same haircut, but that was years ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, miles to go. Yeah, you got you got a ways. All right, let's skip this sponge. I think we'll see more of it. Yeah, so we can just sure. get underway towards waypoint nine. Sure thing. Since we're zoomed out, just FYI, I don't know how real this is because there was an artifact in the multi-beam there as well. Right. So just FYI, since we're looking at it. Okay. Okay, thank you. So we just go full speed through that and uh, just hope it's not there. Yeah, I would just run straight <laughs> at it. <laughs> Don't even like come up in the water column or anything. <laughs> like, like, there's a wall in front of us. Nope, it's an artifact. <laughs> nope, I refuse to acknowledge the sonar. <laughs> I think it's a little bit real, a little bit not. That's all. <laughs> all right, where would you guys like to go? Just uh, up north? To waypoint uh next one yeah you can kind of follow the the ridge line here sure i don't know why i put that off to the side i don't want to go quite there you want to go like there is yeah. yeah yep no worries all right so um we were kind of pulling the ship a little bit to the east to get uh her maybe a little more ridgy but it might be pretty good now okay so we can go Oh, I even remember how to measure bearings. How about? Oh, that looks like 367. Uh, zero, zero, <laughs> six. <laughs> how's zero, zero, six? Seven? Welcome to our watch. <laughs> My brain's already broken. I'll be like, sure. Yeah, that's definitely what the right direction. Um, zero, zero, six. Sounds zero, zero, six. Uh, you like zero, 20 meter zero, steps to start or bigger? Um, what's the terrain been? Uh, you can do a hundred meter at point do nots. That'd be great. A hundred meter? Point Whoa, you guys Whoa. are nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our watch. This is, this is us. Uh, bridge nav, can we get a one zero zero meter step bearing zero zero six? Do you have a speed you like as well? Sorry. Point two would be great. Point two, okay, that's yeah. what they're at. Seems that Rennie's crippling anxiety failed him. Oh and my speed gosh. 0 0.2 knots. <laughs> Thank you. I did so the arm. kind of speak yeah. that into I'll existence, didn't I? I'll get up, I'll get up I? in front of you first, and then we'll yeah. still. Maybe I'll hear it. This is very cool features. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's starting, it's starting to get fun. Rocky, bumpy, some cool pillars as well. On Rocky Bumpy. Yeah. Rocky Road. Yeah. Um, speed zero point two. Yep. Right, Lounge nav. Let's do the arm there. Lounge, are you listening? Hey, Sarah, what's the rock situation in our bins like? Do we have a big rocks? Because we haven't dropped any plates, it looks like. I think we one. do have some big rocks, but um, yet again, sizes are not noted very well. But there are some, there's something in both of the larger boxes. I was watching just a bit ago. They picked up a rock that wouldn't fit in one of the small boxes and had to go in a big box. So Nav lounge. We're on it. Jake, you want to you pitch one of these plates here? Yeah. Yeah. After I asked you to stow it, it's so nicely. Thank you very much. I did stow it nicely. Um, just one on each side right now, so does it... Yeah, probably go for the right, the right one there. Get it out of the way. 
So folks watching at home, getting rid of a uh, steel plate with hemp rope, both, both of which will eventually dissolve in the ocean because we've picked up enough rocks to make us a bit heavy. Thank you kindly. And those weigh about 15 pounds, is that right? 17, was 17? it? 17. Yeah. Thanks, Drake. Yeah. Can you uh, zoom on that before we depart? Maybe. All right. Yeah, sure thing. On this stock with uh, an enemy on top of it? Oh, I guess you already identified what it is. But maybe we don't even need to zoom. <laughs> Spoken like a true geologist. You were right. Lounge nav. Go ahead and push on in there, please. I said that backwards. Anyway, Randy's on his way. <laughs> backwards. Oh my god, we're going to have some fun with this, aren't we? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> it looks like a Muppet. It does. <laughs> oh. That is totally a Muppet. And it's talking to you. We put the lasers on it. Just right. It's, unfortunately, it's like a Muppet <laughs> in a permanent scream. Like, ah. <laughs> is that bamboo coral there? Yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, there's the node. Node. We need Rennie here to identify Rennie. this here. Yeah, no, I don't even pretend to know corals or anything, so sorry, you'll need your guest biologist back. <laughs> <laughs> but we love Erin for her navigation skills, her mapping <laughs> skills, and just her presence and being. <laughs> her general salty behavior when asked about corals. Oh, wide, please. <laughs> oh, we can do some mapping talk right now. Oh, Yesterday, Aaron, uh, I told Kate about CPT City. Do you know that? Yeah, I, I was trying to describe her that. Yeah, I forgot the name. I love that website. I was like, yeah, there's this guy who does like sock puppets and color maps. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Sorry, this is a... This is a mapping geeky joke, but uh, <laughs> there yeah. really is a website there. Um, somebody really like collects color maps, but then if you click on some of like his other links on the website, like he's into have some really strange hobbies. <laughs> he's like, check out my <laughs> socks. That's <laughs> awesome. But great, great color map collection. It was very cool. <laughs> That's kind of a bucket list item for me. I got to publish a color map on there. Oh, really? <laughs> I haven't done it, but I, I, I'd i love to yeah. be immortalized in that way. Acknowledged on CPT <laughs> City. Yeah. I'm going to have to go have a little visit. It's been a while. So you want to send a color map because you've already sent your sock puppet video? <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, I've kind of filled that bucket already. So. boy. We could practice a sock puppet routine on the transit back. <laughs> Uh, I actually, I that's great that you mentioned that. <laughs> it's great that you mentioned that. You because I brought, <laughs> you know, just uh, 27 sock puppets that I do a, a rendition of Macbeth. Uh, oh. So we're back on the musical theme. We're going to do a sock puppet musical? So yes. Yeah, it's a musical sock puppet yes. Macbeth. Yeah. Okay. I thought we avoided that last night. <laughs> But this we've had so many conversations about Perula, and that's all you. Like everyone's like, "What is that color map?" I'm not even joking. I'm oh like, my gosh, we. The <laughs> truth is, you can't call it Perula because I'm gonna cease and desist from MATLAB. Oh but, no! Okay, uh, what should we call it? Sorry. <laughs> maybe just change a letter. You know, <laughs> Darula. Pakula. How about Pakula? Oh yes. Oh, yes. Cool all right. I'll I'll rename it in our files as not to make that mistake again. <laughs> A cease and desist from MATLAB. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like... <laughs> That'd be the nerdiest cease and For <laughs> I <laughs> equals zero, cease, <laughs> left parens, <laughs> <laughs> underscore desist, <laughs> end. <laughs> this watch is all right. Uh. <laughs> But enough color map interruptions. Please carry on. Yeah. So we're, uh, yeah. Great looking seam out here. <laughs> nice save. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that, that was the worst save. Great looking seamount. That's what you. That's your pickup line. Come on. So you guys into seamounts? <laughs> All right. Guess nav leaving. Bye guys. <laughs> Thanks, Aaron. Bye. Aaron. Bye. Bye. Welcome, listeners. Hello, Colorado. Good morning. Yay, Colorado. We had a question about the corals. These corals are animals, and they eat other animals. They're heterotrophs. So there's no plant or algae life down here because there's no light. So they're capturing little particles from the, from the current and eating them. Ooh, that's a pretty one. Yeah, Dave, you want to push on this guy? Yeah, I think so. Like the little chimney it has here. Yeah. Very cool. I don't know that I. S maybe I haven't been paying attention, but do they often have branches like that? I thought those were kind of like one big fan type of thing. Hmm. I don't know. Um, it does seem like we haven't seen them branched, huh? All right, full white there, please, Dave. Oh my gosh, they figured out how to add more little fun uh, emojis <laughs> to this. Don't use that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, <laughs> just in time for the last dive. <laughs> Are we going with a circus theme again? <laughs> There's all sorts now. <laughs> oh. Just no clowns, please. No clowns. Are you afraid of clowns? They just make me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Telestrator is going out on uh, sat one, so be Roger advised. that. Excellent. Be advised. Be advised. <laughs> <laughs> you might be safer in the quad. Viewers asking, are there any traditions or routines you do to prepare for a watch? Uh, sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Get coffee. Coffee. <laughs> I center myself with a two-hour meditation. No, I don't do that. Watch sleep. the sunrise. It's a pretty sunrise. Had my tater tots for breakfast.
We have a viewer who asked if any of us would like to be down there ourselves exploring. Heck yeah. Um, of course, you wouldn't last long without some protection. <laughs> So free diving here is not an option for either, Adam. What kind of protection, Adam? <laughs> Immersion suit? No, he's going to put something up on the thing. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hard hat and safety vest. Safety Roger. first. That's all you need for the deep sea. <laughs> Through all these boulders, right? <laughs> that last one zero one five um it was zero seven zero or zero zero six sorry zero zero six. Have any of you actually read 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea? A viewer wants to know. Uh, hmm. No, I haven't. I have not read it, but I've been on the, uh, this is not as good as reading it, but I've been on the 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea ride at Tokyo Disney. Ooh. Awesome. <laughs> we could do a sock puppet version. Nice. <laughs> Adam. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I may prefer the roller coaster. I don't know. <laughs> All right. What's everyone's favorite ship breakfast? The fruit. That's yeah. mine. I'll agree with that. Fruit. Yeah. How nice is it to have fruit like that's like cut up for you? Yeah. That oh pineapple God. is amazing. I never eat oranges unless someone cuts them for me. Yeah. The activation <laughs> energy of like peeling a cantaloupe. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> mine is apparently 15 extra minutes of sleep. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> hey, big congratulations yes, you, you on dealing with, with your yeah. crippling anxiety. This was a big step for me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys jinxed me last night. <laughs> that was like my first time in eight years. Oh, yeah, we talked about that last night, didn't we? <laughs> we wanted you to experience it for yourself. Thank you, whoever... Knocks me over the head. <laughs> we have a suggestion that for our sock puppet show, we could put some socks on Hercules' arms. Aww, <laughs> In a show on the seafloor. I kind of feel like those white tip, oceanic white tips, look like they have socks on. They could join in the sock puppet show, too. <laughs> you know... They are such stage hogs. They just want to take <laughs> over, and I won't work with them anymore. <laughs> Did you catch that we're going zero one zero now? Zero one zero, right? Would the oceanic white tip have a sock on its dorsal? Is that the? Is that why it looks like it's wearing socks? On um, the fin. Dorsal. That's the top one. The top yeah. one. <laughs> hey, gosh, I don't know. I definitely saw it on all the. 
going to look. Uh, I don't, I don't know the names of the other. Yeah. <laughs> lateral. I think it's has thrusters on landing, it. Too. Landing gear. <laughs> There's a little Holothurian. Oh, yeah. Put your body. Did they report any uh, patches of life, like more abundant life on the way up, or has it been kind of similar? I think it's been pretty similar. Sounds like they had more coral than we had. Another an enemy. Jake, would you also mind securing the craft power too? Is that still uh hmm. But if we turn off the DC sense, then it'll stop bouncing. So that's a good So it has to do with the the check for the ground fall somehow. Huh. Yeah, we have love from the Philippines. Good morning. Greeting you from the eight to twelve watch. Greeting. All right. Viewers suggest the coral should have a sock puppet show about current events. Okay, mm -hmm. now that's adorable. <laughs> Deep sea Sesame Street. Yeah. C N N. <laughs> <laughs> and me. <laughs> CNN and me. Oh. There oh. <laughs> we go. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> now you guys are destined for some Sesame Street here. For those of you who have just joined, we are exploring unnamed Seamount B. Are what hour Ooh. into the dive? Dive started at six thirty last night. What are you? Our time? Is this a black coral? I don't know. Looks like black coral. It does. Don't know what that candle Go opera. Ahead and push on in there, please, Dave. What clay is that? I don't know. Yeah, black coral. It's all like all the branches are coming from a really similar spot next to each other. Hmm. Really long polyps. Yeah. But they do fan out. Looks like there's two rows of them. So it would normally be. It's just kind of like in the current and droopy right now. Very cool. Heteropathies. Heteropathies Americana. Oh, why they're. Oh, that's exactly what it is. Nice. Wow. Cool. I think. Well, that's the first one we've seen on this on our watch for these dives. Yeah. But it's possible they've seen it. 
points go to Sarah for that one. Nice job, Sarah. Sir Militaris. Could be getting into uh, barnacle land here. Oh. Try and get some of that fresh uh, shell hash if we do. Not the best of the Disney theme parks, but. <laughs> 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 It could be a food at the theme park. Mm. Possibly my favorite breakfast. <laughs> Barnacle soup. Shell hash. I prefer Fresh. Ined Fresh. inedible bits. Yeah, <laughs> bits. Or no, edible bits, that's right. I don't prefer inedible bits. Yeah, they, I don't know how they, they're in business. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about marketing. Yeah. <laughs> Big cereal lobbying, you know? Yeah. Big cereal lobbying. How much ground do we have left to cover in this dive here? Well, let's see. We're approaching halfway between waypoint seven and eight. Could look at the dive plan or just measure it. Adam, a viewer is asking if these are all volcanic rocks. Yeah, interesting question because they are volcanic rocks, but they've all been coated with uh, iron manganese crust. So, despite the fact they're all volcanic, you can't see any of the actual rock. You're seeing the crust that's formed on the outside but within most of them and we cut open one of these rounded pieces that was maybe like an inch in diameter there was a little bit of volcanic rock inside it's three and a half to four kilometers left roger let's try and get beyond waypoint nine on this watch okay mm. to the Speaking of, wall. um if we take a look at it here um, how do we want to approach this? Because we do have this little bump, bumpus here. It looks pretty steep. I don't know if you're interested in that or if you do yeah, so to bypass it. Um, the, the, the little wall there is, is quite possibly an artifact in the bathymetry. Oh, I didn't look out to zoom. Yeah. And, uh, perhaps. let's see, why... I think that the map that I picked these points on might have been a little offset from this. So I think we do want a pretty direct path to the the summit. Um, okay, 13-ish is the summit. Yep. From where we are, yep. Okay, but so that, not, that's, not Well, that's a pretty it. enticing little blob there, isn't it? Yeah, we definitely, I mean, we probably have a little, very short section of downhill, but only a couple hundred meters. Um, but maybe not. We have this less slopey bit. We could go up and jag, take a little bit of time. But Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, well, let's, up, we could at least. Yeah, we can get to there and then to decide there. if um, we want to pop yeah. up the wall or. We could lateral the and then go up the flat bit. Yep. Okay. So we'll just kind of go straight up this ridge-ish, but bias towards waypoint nine. Perfect. Okay. Good morning to our viewers. Keep sending your questions into the chat. Special shout out to my nephew, Lathan. Thanks for joining. What's up, Lathan? <laughs>
Ooh, how about a question about the slurp sampler? One of our viewers asked, how powerful is the Slurpee? And what's the biggest thing it's ever slurped? Hmm. The flow rate is variable. So we have, um, we can change the flow rate on it. I don't think we've ever, I haven't at least measured the flow going through it. We can just visually see and see how much is pulling on an organism or sediment, seafloor or whatnot. Um, and how large, what's the largest thing we can fit in there is defined by the width of the hose and also the width of the nozzle that it's going through. Um, so ideally, if we get something that's a little bit squishy, um, then maybe we can fit something that maybe looks a little bit larger, but it's all constrained by the size of the hose. The density too, those nodules did not like it. Yeah, those nodules were... Yeah, when it goes in the hose, it has to go it's not like a Could straight shot. It, it's kind of like a. Got to go in, up, around a corner. Through the woods. It's like a, a game of mousetrap. Oh, <laughs> don't tempt me. Back to mousetrap. <laughs> say a mousetrap? Like a game of mousetrap. Oh, I see. Well, that makes sense. I'm going to have to. Dig that up over the holidays for the youngins. Yeah. <laughs> Send pictures to Adam. Full oh, wide, please. Oh. You guys noticed that board games have gotten incredibly long? And complicated. I just bought one that has a 50-page instruction manual. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> You guys all have you played that train one? What's yeah. it called? I have the National Parks version. What's that called? Uh, Ticket, Ticket to, to Ride. ride. Yeah. yeah, that's fun. That's pretty fun. Yeah, I have the same one that just has national parks instead of train stops. I guess games haven't gotten longer because there's always been Monopoly, the game that <laughs> never actually finishes. And before that was the game of life. I didn't have that one. Does Apparently, that if you play a Monopoly by the c actual rules of Monopoly, it doesn't go on forever. It's because of like family and house rules that they. Oh really? Yeah, like uh, there's some, there's I forget what the critical element of the game, but there's something that would prevent it. Oh, is it not stealing from the bank? <laughs> I think it's that when you land on a property, you have to buy it. Oh. And if you don't, oh, then everyone right. bids on it. Oh. Interesting. And so you could get, off. yeah, you got to auction it off. So it's it's not like <laughs> you can't just veto. So then people go bankrupt quicker. They can't just drag things out, and and the properties get bought off quicker. The game I just got with the giant instruction manual is Wingspan. So I'm hoping we can figure it out over the holidays. <laughs> a bit more coral. Oh. How about a rock question? S so since these potentially have a different origin than the Hawaiian chain, is it possible to see lava rock of a different type, potentially more andesitic and or rhyolitic? Um, not in this environment. So we'd expect this to be a uh, basaltic, the only way you'd get a more evolved or less mafic composition is, you know, some amount of magma gets stored in the in the crust and uh, cools and, and crystallizes, taking out the mafic components and then somehow gets forced out, you know, in a, in a late stage. But uh, most of, or in fact, all of these seamounts and the mid-Pacific mountains in the Hawaiian chain are, are basaltic. Actually, on Hawaii, there are some weird <laughs> compositions that are uh, more evolved, like uh, trachytes and, and things like that. Um, but in a subduction environment, you, you do get uh, different compositions. So ooh, something floating by. There's a fish. Uh, Thank you. But not here. No, I think that, that I would be very surprised to find um, 
something that wasn't basaltic or close to it. Oh, hello, goodbye. Bridge now. One hundred meters zero one five. Thank you. So that takes care of the question about why there are no fish here. <laughs> uh, they were just being shy. Hey, Randy, looks like the the sonar looks cleaner than yesterday. Did <laughs> anyone figure anything out about the uh, noise that we're getting in there? Uh, I can't tell if this is a setup. Which sonar are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> the, the, These? yeah. Um, I didn't hear anything. I don't know if they turned anything off or what would have been giving interference. Usually... Can we, can we look at that little coral down there? Little coral. Yeah, Bottom sure right. Uh, usually it is not thruster related or anything. It's another sonar we have. Yeah. But as... As I, as far as I know, they're all push on in there, please, Dave. still going at the same frequencies. Yeah. yeah, yeah, everything's the same. There was that like radial pattern yeah. yesterday, just a little bit though. It's, it's usually the um, altimeter, I think, or the USBL, but we haven't had the problems with the USBL since we've changed those to higher frequencies. So. Yeah. Well, yeah, since we changed the units <laughs> and the units have higher frequencies. All right, Rennie, what is it? What's Black that? coral. What is it? Uh, it's black coral. Is it stichopathies? Are you asking me or do you already know the answer? Oh, I'm really asking. Oh, I actually, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a black coral. That's where we got. Okay. I'm going to have to go full life. Yep. Sure. Thank you. But I don't know if stichopathies is something Steve made up to check me. Sounds like something. <laughs> 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 to have me say it on it's a watch and sounds, sound, it sounds sounds a little bit fake. <laughs> it's a little too on the nose. It's part of your path to becoming true coral expert if you can recognize the ones that Steve <laughs> gave you. It's not good. being real. Very good. I'm starting to question Steve Agorja now. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last expedition of the year. But the new season starts up early next year in February, so come back and watch in February. This is our last Herc dive, correct? That, that is correct. Be. Yep. We had a question about whether the ROVs are equipped with hydrophones, and we've talked about that a few times. The ROVs make a lot of noise, so we wouldn't be able to hear any of those sounds of the ocean over the sound of the ROV. It's going to be, yeah. <laughs> That was the first thing that came up. <laughs> so viewers are asking if anybody else had some thoughts on that white rock from the other teams. I don't think anyone else knew what that white rock, or, or I don't know that we call it a rock, but uh, we did see at least three of those. Yeah. Do you know the other watches? Saw? UWO, right? I don't know <laughs> if they saw any UWO. after the last one we saw. <laughs> but it, I'm super excited to see what that is. There was one right as our shift changed. so They all looked kind of rounded. Which was yeah. yeah, they looked, you know, Allison suggested coconut, which I don't think it is because it seems too it dense. Like it but it heavy. I'm not standing by that. Uh, well, no, but I, what I was gonna say, <laughs> what I was gonna say is it definitely had a coconut shape. Did you? Uh, did everyone hear that, or is she just in my head? <laughs> I want it to be publicly known. <laughs> oh my God! There's that voice again. Uh, no, but it had to definitely had the coconut shape, like it had a kind of a flatter side and a pokier side. Oh, cuttlefish bone. How big is that? That's, oh, look at that. What? How big are they, though? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, cuttlefish are like a little squiddy, octopusy kind of thing, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> but there's this picture on Bob's phone of a cuttlefish 
bone. Can we put that on sad feet too? Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not buying it. No? No. I mean, that's pretty that would small, be a, though, right? It would be, cuttlefish. It would be massive. <laughs> that would be a massive. A very cuttlefish. dense cuttlefish, too. <laughs> cuttlefish Wait, gigantus? Cuttlefish too, they're too thin. Giant cuttlefish. It was um, too thick. I Sarah, think. what? Stichopathy is, is like the, I think, the curly wire, wire one. So it's saying. an actual name? Yeah. Okay. Someone mentioned, like, ballast rocks the other day, I think yeah. yesterday, which was interesting because they all were, like, spaced out like someone was dropping them or something yeah interesting like color though for yeah, yeah. yeah. i wonder what they were using yeah huh. Huh. the cuttlefish bones for you that can't see them are too thin I think. is there a scale on how big those they're cuttlefish really bones relatively are relatively flat i mean they and can be the size that we picked oh. up but they're all wouldn't relatively they be pretty flat? soft though if the parakeets are like yeah away and if they're them? calcium then they theoretically would not survive there holy cow I'm so excited <laughs> to see what that is. I'm gonna let you touch Holy it guacamole. That's a <laughs> shout out to, uh, who was it? Chris Kelly said that on every watch. <laughs> I think so, yeah. I don't know. I thought you were, that was a shout out to our sponsors, Avocado. <laughs> <laughs> avocado I for any time. I love that sponsor. <laughs> Did you say ready time? <laughs> ready time. <laughs> Oh my gosh! That was fun. Extra large. I'm, uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm feeling good about cuttlefish bone. <laughs> I am not. I'm not <laughs> Look at <laughs> there's an so XL. That's too thin. Too thin. Too thin. It was very round. It was very large. Yeah, round. the cuttlefish very bones round. are all too thin. Too thin. What if about if two cuttlefish back to back? <laughs> Siamese, <laughs> Siamese cuttlefish. <laughs> That's the watch I know. <laughs> All right, working hypothesis: Siamese cuttlefish. Okay. Seems Try reasonable. Catches. Party in the front, arguing in the back. <laughs> that is not the mullet you want. No. <laughs> no. But it's the mullet you need. <laughs> Avocados. <laughs> yes. Careful, you don't want any cease and desist from avocados. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the green fruit. <laughs> rename it. Uh, was that another heteropathy? I believe so. Yeah, I think so. That little Americana. Brown one that we saw was also a heteropathy. It's just oh, a yeah. A viewer is asking if there would be any issues or if there have been any observed issues at this depth due to ocean acidification. Yeah, I don't think so. That's m more of a surface ocean um, issue, but... One of the reasons we're here is to make these baseline observations that then can be used to investigate anthropogenic impacts in the in the deep ocean, which we know very little about. Whew, nice save. <laughs> What's it? Yeah, can we wag to the right a little bit? That another headless chicken sea monster? Mm, I think this one's just a regular <laughs> oh, chicken. No. <laughs> Doesn't have the uh, the lion's mane. No. no. Go ahead and push on in there a bit, please, Dave. That made me imagine like a a big one holding up a little one. <laughs> right off the cliff. Oh, oh it's oh. got a little scale worm on it, a little on associate. It. Yeah. yeah. Like going for a bay shot there. It does have like a tail like thing. Getting more push on that scale worm there, Dave. Hmm. 
interesting. Full wide, please. Watching that headless chicken sea cucumber feeding last night, that was amazing. That was probably my favorite part of the time yeah, yesterday. Yeah, it was incredible. Yeah, I mean, it kind of looked like a, a child inventing an animal. <laughs> and just shoving <laughs> and as much it. of that sediment in yeah. its mouth as it could. <laughs> yeah, that was very cool. Very cool. <laughs> Adam, a question for you from a viewer. <laughs> What's up? If these are 100 plus million year seamounts, what's the age of the lithosphere they're hosted in? And what was the paleo location relative to the oldest emperor seamount when you backtrack the plate 80 plus million years? Yeah, some quick math there, Adam. <laughs> uh, let me just I think we have a geologist. With this one. So can you repeat the question? <laughs> <laughs> Let's break it down. If these are 100 plus million year seamounts, what's the age of the lithosphere they were hosted in? Oh, um, <coughs> so let's see. I don't know the age of the lithosphere right here, but presumably it was pretty young when the seamounts were in place. So one of the uh, hypotheses is that these, if these are over 100 million years old, they're related to large igneous event that produced... Uh, the Hess rise. Oh, look at that yellow Ooh. thing up there. Uh, the mid pack mountains and and uh, another component of this outpouring of magma that was so significant that it caused a new plate boundary to form or a triple junction. And uh, so these would be on pretty young oceanic crust. And they were located about 3,000 miles uh away from here when they formed and so they've rode rode the plate all that way um, and uh, in relative to the oldest emperor seamount i think we kind of did some back in the envelope last night you probably are up by i mean basically you could go three thousand miles up the the chain and and uh put you pretty near the Aleutian arc uh for the equivalent aged emperor seamount Like the little hole that it has here. Yeah. Birdhouse. Is this Colophagus or something else? I don't know. It looks like the stalk goes under it. It's not like one of the ones that is to the side. Okay. Looking on the guide. That stock looks more yellow than the others we've seen. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Full wide there, please, Dave. I don't know. Viewers asking about in the future maybe having um, audio from our wet lab area. And I can share that I was working in there yesterday. It's a very loud workspace. You would not be able to hear. You, everyone would have to have headsets. So that would 